You've just got a bunch of losers in this new economy. The winners are spread out and mostly ungrateful. The losers are concentrated and pissed. It's no longer the old right versus left. Do you want more government or less government? It's really anti-establishment versus establishment. We've been doing environmental justice, racial justice, immigrant rights. Everyone's been doing their own separate mobilizations, separate set of priorities. And we need a real political revolution that's multi-racial, multi-ethnic, multi-everything type coalition. A political revolution means people feeling their power, strategizing, organizing, taking control of the levers of power in this country. I am in Iowa because I am giving thought to running for president of the United States. You can't keep beating down the middle class. You can't keep buying elections. You can't keep sending out jobs to China. So the job is to mobilize. How effectively we can do that, no, that remains to be seen. We've been taught not to get involved with politics. That's why we don't have any power, because all the people without money haven't been involved, right? We're trusting these people that have no clue what we go through to make decisions for us. I'm tired of that, so I'm going to become one of those decision makers. We're doing this work to seek justice for those whose lives have been stolen by the police. We'll never get justice under this system. The system killed her. Every black woman that goes to jail leaves in a body bag because she committed suicide? No. They have to come up with something better than that. If Lakeisha Wilson killed herself, we want to see it. I remember a lot of folks telling me that, you know, protesting doesn't change anything and that Occupy was going to be meaningless. And four years later, the idea of the 99% is a household concept. There will be a growing political price to pay for anyone who defends the status quo of corruption. Take your power back! Real change never happens without struggle. 